I wear quite a lot of makeup. Full brand new skincare routine. Better for the environment, less waste, you don't have to buy as many. It's just a better option all around. Hyaluronic acid serum. My little grandma swears by which is on the skin. I'm gonna tie my hair up. In fact, I'm gonna put my pajamas on. Irrelevant which size you pick. Like. Just pat it into my hair. I'm being delicate. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to be doing a skincare haul um, and routine. Uh, so if you like the sound of that, please keep on watching. Uh, so I'm on my way to the shop now. I'm going to go to Boots and we're going to get full brand new skincare routine. Uh, and then when I get home, I'm decluttering my whole skincare that I already have. I have honestly had every single thing that I class as skincare I've had far too long. It's well past its sell by date. It needs to go nowhere but the bin, honestly. Like, it is really not, like, good. That's what we're doing. So I will be vlogging in boots. I'll do a haul when I get home. And then we'll be decluttering and then I'm also going to do um, a skincare routine with you. If you like the sound of that, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, then you'll never miss one of my future uploads. And with all that being said, let's get right into the video. So the shop I went to was Boots, just because they had a student event on, basically anybody with a valid student ID card, which I obviously have, got 20% off on selected lines, which had all the main skincare lines in it. Um, so that like saved me a bit of money. So I am going to Primark and I'm going to get a shower bag for all my new skincare to go into just so that I can get rid of all my other stuff later and then it's all in one place, it's going to be organised, it's going to be great, that's the plan anyway. Then I'm going home and I keep saying that I'm going to like do everything when I get home, I'm actually not because I need to get rid of because I'm going on a date but then I'll do it at some point, maybe tomorrow morning. So at first I was going to buy this one because you know I love me some leopard print but then I saw this one it was £5 for all three things it's like a stacked case and I thought it'd be just better value. Right everyone so what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to do a haul of everything that I got and then I'm going to go straight into the um, skincare routine but I'm going to do the skincare routine in the bathroom just because that is where I would most likely do it. The first two things Although they look new, they're not. I've used them a little bit. I've got cotton pads. These are mainly for when I travel. Um, I don't know if it were in this video. I think it might have been. I mentioned before, I use reusable pads, makeup remover pads, just because it's better for the environment, less waste. You don't have to buy as many. It's just a better option all around. Um, obviously when I'm travelling and going on holiday and stuff, I just take these for convenience. Um, but these are really good. If you've not tried any before, I would recommend. I've never tried the ones from W07 before. These are just what Johnny got me. Um, but I've tried loads of different brands and I really, really like them. The Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I always get one that's got the oil in it. You shake it and it mixes together they are the best for makeup remover i wear quite a lot of makeup to be honest um most days literally basically every day and this one is by far the best there's this one or there's i've got the empty bottle which is lovely um the blue one i've run out of this one these two are my favorites the pink one isn't bad it's just it's not got the oil so i prefer one that's got the oil in so from things i actually did buy i got this which is just a three in one like makeup bag so i'm gonna be filming a video shortly i'm actually filming it next week where i declutter all my makeup all my skincare everything i'm getting rid of everything there's so many things that pass the sell by date and they're just not good for my skin anymore they're not good for anyone honestly they just need to go in the bin i've had them years right and i'm in doing that i'm gonna clear up a space in my room so i thought the bigger one i can put my body care and hair care in the medium size when i'll put my skincare in and then the little one i don't really know what i'm gonna do with the little one um but as i as i show you what i got i'm gonna put them into the medium sized one which is this one 
this one. This will literally like a fibre, all this together with a fibre, this um, little set. So it came up to around like 60 something pounds and I ended up getting it for 49 pounds which obviously it's quite a big saving, so that's why I went to Boots, but I'm sure you can get these online, you can get them in Superdrug, you know what I mean. Most most of these products have been recommended, particularly from my friend Grace. When I went on holiday with Grace, she uh, let me do use the products uh, one of the nights, and she sw swears by a skincare routine. So I've followed the exact same steps, some of the products aren't the same. I've followed the same steps. I'll do it in order that I would put them on my face and then we'll go and actually do it uh, but i want to do like a bit of a haul first we've got this this is the elf skin holy hydration makeup melting cleansing balm um and i will unpackage it for you this is what it looks like and then double cleansing is important guys i do know this um so the next one, I got a salicylic acid cleanser from the Inky List. And this is an exfoliant that helps to penetrate deeper into the skin's pores and unclog them, which I definitely need. Um, especially, like I said before, I do wear a lot of makeup. Uh, next, I've got Hyaluronic Acid Serum, also from the Inky List. Um, I've never tried the Inky List before. Um, this is actually a full face of first impressions. I forgot to say that. I've never tried any of these products before. Um, apart from these two I have used before. Um, Grace let me use them on holiday. But I feel I think I can still get my first impressions. Uh, that's that one though. The Hyaluronic Acid Serum. The other Hyaluronic Acid I used to use was from... Uh, so, I feel like it might have been Super Drug's own brand. That was when I was younger though, I don't really know um, if that had any benefits or not. Oh, and then the next one I got was the Niacinamide Serum, uh, also from the Inky List. Uh, next up, this is also from Elf Skin Holy Hydration Range. It's the Keep Your Balance Toner Lotion Tonic. Um, it's got hyaluronic acid, witch hazel and aloe in it. My little grandma swears by witch hazel on the skin, so I thought this would be good. Um, this is what it looks like. And then, last but not least, I got this Aveeno Calm Plus Restore Oat Gel Moisturiser. Alright, so now I've done the haul, I'm going to pop into the bathroom and we're going to do the makeup removal slash skincare routine. Let's get cracking. I'm going to tie my hair up. In fact, I'm going to put my pyjamas on. Right. I'm ready to begin. So, first things first, everyone. We're gonna go in with one of these, or you can use just a normal cotton pad. So, in this pack, there's two little ones and a big one. Um, it's like completely irrelevant which size you pick. Like, I presume that's a face and these are eyes, but like. This one I've done my face and this one I've done my eyes equally the same, so don't worry about that. And then onto this, I'm going to put my uh, micellar water. Shake it together, like I said before, it's one of the oil-based ones. And I stick it onto the pad. Um, and then... Take my makeup off for a bit. So this is getting the thick off, um, as I would say. It's getting the lipstick off. It's getting all the eyeshadow off, most of the foundation. It's getting like the 
noticeable makeup off like by the time i finish with this i might look a bit grubby but i don't look like i've got any makeup on and the great thing about these is you can chuck them in the wash bag um i tend to obviously i wet it with the tap then you know like get all dirt off it like the excess dirt and i'll leave it on our towel rack just there um i put it in the wash like whenever it gets dirty on both sides um so after that we're gonna start with the first cleanser the first cleanser was the elf one and this is like i don't know if you can tell very well on that it's like a like a balm like a butter it says there's meant to be a spatula in it which they were because of solid oh it's here so you rub it into face and then rinse with warm water and then remove with like a like one of them i've just been using put a bit too much on that cheek there i've just put it in four quite even blobs on my cheeks forehead and chin and then i'm gonna massage it into my skin i can feel that this is quite oil based or it feels like it is it's very like oily um And especially if you use um, um, a non-reusable cotton pad, like just a normal cotton pad, you'll see how much makeup you still get off your face, um, even after the cleanse, the double cleanse, the toner, like you still see remains of makeup on after all that. Um, so it does prove to me that that you do need to um, be like thorough with your skincare. The hardest thing for me ever to get off is my eye makeup. I've always been someone that does very heavy eye makeup and it just it like hangs around in my eyelashes, it smudges onto my waterline, like I just can't get rid of it. Next up we've got the salicylic acid cleanser um, to put this onto a dampened face. which my face is damp. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to my hands. To get it going. And then once more, I'm removing it. Right, so next I've got toner. This is very straightforward. I just, one sec. I just shake a bit of this onto my hand, pat it onto like both hands, and then just pat it into my fur. Simple as that for toner. That smells nice. It smells a bit strong though, like I know some people don't like a strong scent. It's like I'm just a bit weird like that. Hello. Um so then I've got the hyaluronic acid. On the back of this it does say always use as your first serum. Um so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna put a little bit on. Just 
on then and then the nice in the mind. I think that's how you say it. Niacinamide, that goes on next. So that's my serums on. Then the final thing to do is moisturise. If it was the day like you were going out then, then you would use SPF. Um, which I never use SPF, I need to start doing that. I've got a day cream that has it in, so I do technically wear some, but obviously could be doing more. Um, and also eye cream, I haven't got an eye cream, I want to buy an eye cream, it's just I were already spending quite a lot of money on skincare, I didn't really want to spend any more. But yeah, I'll just rub this through, just remember everyone to use gentle fingers on your face, you don't want wrinkles. I know it looks like I'm being rough but I promise I'm being delicate with my hands and that is job well done that is my skincare routine uh, so I do hope you have enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel hit the notification bell then you'll never miss one of my future uploads and with all that being said I will see you in my next video goodbye